Hello everybody, once again I am Crazy Crafter, and I am finally playing Atonement Sins of the Past, like I said I would. So I'm going to go ahead and create a world, let's see, Crazy Crafter RT, Survival, and please know even though I did this in Survival, it still for some reason puts me in Hardcore. I can look here. Create new world. This is going to be fun. I say that with air quotes because I hate hardcore mode. Slightest mistake, on or off cam, can end up ending the series. Especially in a tournament where everything's so much more difficult. This mod pack was probably made to be challenging. waiting for the world to load and let's see hopefully I've got a good spawn I have played this a little but I've never gotten too far however I do think I have found a good strategy All right, wait for it to finish loading I looked at the uh, bottom one in the bottom um, left corner of my screen, and, and I thought that said cave update. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and come on. This is very laggy for me at first. Always is. Luckily, the mod pack starts you off with a lot of things. I'm not sure if you guys understood it, but basically, from what I can see here, it's kind of like, like in the 1.12 of series, I went a little too crazy. And this is just a cool link that I think of. In the 1.12 thing, you go a little too crazy and form this, even though this is made in a, in a version prior to 1.12. 1.7, in fact. So it's pre combat update. Let's go ahead and pick up all these saplings, as well as, let's see. I'm just going to grab a crap ton of this. Because I want to build my own little floating island away from all the others to be my base. Let's see. 25 should be enough. Alright. You know what, this seems like it could be a good spot. 
eight, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. But seriously, this is going to be hard for me. Because if you look at my hearts, and then remember, I chose survival, not hardcore. It do the game doesn't give you a choice. Or at least the mod pack doesn't. And I gotta go through this very quickly. Or at least the first day. I gotta get everything I'm gonna need to need to stay hidden in my base for quite a while. This is actually a completely new strategy for me, so I'm not sure exactly what all I'm going to need. Usually, I'm just get I just dig a tunnel, we'll dig out a cave really deep. All right. I'm going to need to go ahead and place this ethereal bloom. What this does is, as you can see, the entire... Well, the grass is all purple. Because we're in, the entire world is tainted. This will turn everything in, I believe, a chunk. Chunk. Well, or maybe it's just an 8 by... 8... eight everything in 8, eight radius. Okay, that was, that was the sound of a meteor coming and falling on a planet somewhere. Uh, pretty much every time we hear that sound, you're going to see me looking around, hoping the meteor is not falling on me. One annoying thing is, just like in 1.12 of Tom Craft, there's angry zombies. But, no matter, when you hit them, they grow in size, but no matter what, their hitbox stays the exact same. And they can also break blocks. So, my door... Yeah, they're just going to tear through that. I put up a, a grass wall instead, or a dirt wall instead, they're going to tear through that. And some, for some reason, have TNT. Alright, so I'm going to need to grab some cobblestone. Let's see. Also going to need to find some sugar cane. But if you, even if you look down there, the air, the grass is starting to turn green. Oh, and you see those pigs? They've been corrupted by taint. They're just like hostile mobs now. Oh, looks like we got a cave spider as well. This is just great. Ow. Let me look in here. On the bright side, this pack does have whatever mod it is. Is that makes it so that when you're holding a torch, 
it lights up the area uh, for you. Oh, some amber. Oh wait, harvest level two. Meaning I can't harvest. I can't mine it. Oh gosh, now I'm scared. One encounter with a tainted crawler, which is basically a really tiny spider. And I'm, and I'm through. Okay, just a cave spider. Oh, crap, crap. Run, 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 run. Well, that sucks. Especially since those hearts don't like to regenerate manually. Let's go ahead and do that. The red hearts don't like to regenerate on their own for some reason. That off with cobblestone. I don't think, think the angry zombies can mind that. Oh, great. Let's go over here as well. There we go. Okay, go ahead and make myself a furnace. Go ahead and plant an oak sapling so that I'll be able to get more wood later on. There we go. Now, if somehow an angry Wait. torch, now if somehow an angry zombie gets up there. I should be able to just kill it right here. And if an angry zombie decides to cross a small bridge, I can kill it right here. Okay, let me think. Okay. Alright, I am going to see if I can find any ores in here. Grab some more wood. As you can probably tell, I am extremely nervous right now. Why did I? Why did I do this to myself? All right. 
the looks like the sun is setting, so right. one, two. Yeah, just throw all of those in there. Except for one. One I'm turning into planks. And then throw one plank. You know what? Let's have a little corner right here. Yeah. There we go. My torch. Alright. I wish I could cut this part out, but. Yeah. Is. Wait. Is that a charged creeper? Guys, right under my crosshair. Is that a charged creeper? A. Freaking charged creeper! Oh my gosh! How? It hasn't even rained yet. I mean, there's been absolutely no chance for a, a lightning bolt to hit a creeper. This. Oh, that looks cool. Hmm. All right, I'm just going to hide right here for a little while and talk to you guys a little more about this mod pack. Like this thing called Pasture Seeds, I can actually plant it. Wait, actually, what? Tome Guidebook. Wait, on first thing, if I go to Options, Inventory, I can click this thing and then make it so that I can heal myself automatically, which will completely restore my red hearts. I'm gonna ask you, I'm gonna let you guys decide, should I be allowed to do that? Or do you think it's cheating? Really, the only reason that I would do it is just to make sure that I'm, I'm not gonna die. Because as you can already tell, I don't wanna die. By the way, there's a mod in here called Silence Gems, which is how I've got these flint tools. Not sure exactly what they are, but some of it kind of looks like Tinker's Construct to me. Anyways, let's look at this guidebook. Welcome to Atonement Sins of the Past. This book will introduce you to all the changes and new recipes to help you get started. Please note that reading the Enrichicon 2 key, default H, it will bring up the Enrichicon 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 I'm just gonna, gonna call it Enrichicon. And pressing the library button on the top right, you can gain access to all the in-game books. From then on, anytime you can hit the H key, and you will be sent directly to the library Thomcraft useful links. Oops. A quick way to discover all aspects. Oh, that would be nice. Definitely gonna look at that. Well, guys, let me know if I can look at that. Okay. I'd like to, but it's your decision whether or not I can look at these.
This book does not cover all aspects of the represented mods, but just a list of helpful advice and tips to help, to help you through this pack. Please remember that the best way to learn about the mo mod is to look it up in the in-game books or their respective websites. To use this book, there are link words in blue that will take you to information on that item. You can also return to the contents page. You only need to click the contents link in the top left of all the pages. Notice, in this update, there are two very important changes. TC nodes, so basically the Thomcraft things, are found under the islands, near the void. Have fun getting to them. You are mean. <laughs> you do not need to drop items to scan them anymore. You can scan directly from the inventory by holding your thumbometer over the items in your inventory. I wish you could still do that in 1.12. Story. Okay, this is exactly what the person said. And at the start of the world. Contents. Alright. Let's go for life and death. In this world of purple death, it would be wise to learn how to fend off death and gain more life. In this world of purple death, the monsters are tough and vicious. They will dig down to where you're at and blow holes in your walls if you don't dig deep enough. If you think you will be safer in the air, then you had better think it again, as monsters will climb to where you're at. Plus, there are meteors that will bombard you, although they also hold rewards for the brave. Your best hope is to survive is to dig deep and hide till you're strong enough to fight the tank. But be warned, even the depths of the world won't protect you from all the harm, as there are hidden horrors that hide in the stone. That's probably re recommend warning me of silverfish. Life and death comes in many forms. From the armor you wear to the most powerful of magic. To start with the better or with the better your armor, the harder you can get hit. Also, armor has an additional property in this magical land. It will provide you with absorption. Think of it as health that will regenerate, since your health doesn't naturally re regenerate naturally. You can see how this will be a big help. Just like with the protection, the better the armor, the more absorption you will have. Plus, you can enchant your armor to have even more absorption. So remember, when fighting for your life, armor will always be your first defense. I almost said when fighting for your wife. <laughs> Oof. After your armor, there's a few potions that can help you out as well. You can find these in the recipe section. For, finally, I'm going to go ahead and check that out. Okay. All right. I wanted the potions. Okay, base potion, awkward potion. All right. Blaze powder to get potion of strength. Oh. This is literally just all the standard recipes. I know all of these. Literally, I have memorized the potion recipes and crafting recipes. Except for the, what's it called? Activator rail. Don't have that one because I've never used it. Okay, let's go ahead and look at this. Self reincarnation. In your discovery of the world, you have found that some things are harder to come by than others, such as silverwood saplings which can only be gained through trading with pecs. More information can be gained in the basic information tab of your thumb and omicron. Okay, I'm gonna have to find a pec. That's that big thing, with, that's the thing with a big backpack. As you can see in the little jar there. If you're having trouble finding them, then maybe you can create one out of a villager. In the thumb horizons tab of the, your thumb and omicron, you'll need to research the curative vat then follow through the incarnation and reincarnation researches to reach the peck research. When re while researching the curative vat to help you create pecs, you will see other research connected to them. 
If you go through the creature infusion research and follow it down through self-infusion, you will find research on self-reincarnation, a powerful magic that will tear your soul out at the moment of death. But be warned, the soul is a fragile thing that will not last long, so you will need to have a soul beacon placed on top of the vat that contains a revived corpse effigy. As an unfortunate side effect when using this method of gaining life, your corpse will be destroyed, leaving your items on the ground, so you will need them to, uh, before they despawn. Basically, it does is like normal Minecraft after, after respawning. However, there is an upgrade to this research that will pull your items back also, so I can basically put myself in keep inventory. Other items of note. Shovel of the Purifier. This shovel will cut through taint like a hot knife through butter. And if held in your hand, right-click the shovel will purify all flux goo and gas from a small raise. Tainted wand, wand core. This wand core can in store uh, 150 bits of every type and replenishes itself up, up to 10% in every aspect as long as it is being held inside of a tainted land. Okay, that's easy. This tainted trees. This tree can grow in tainted lands, and the wood is resistant to fibrous taint, allowing you to build in tainted lands without fibrous taint taking over. I want to know how to get that. I do. Tainted stone. This stone is a lot like the tainted trees in, in that they are resistant to fibrous taint. Again, I want that. How do I get it? I have no clue. Well, that's just great. Tentacle Ring. Taint is a very dangerous thing and is always trying to harm you. With this ring, you can turn the tables and make the taint work for you. While wearing this ring, anytime you take damage and, and are on solid land, a small tentacle will sprout and attack nearby foes. That is like the tainted seed that I encountered just last episode of my Thomcraft series. Well, this Let's be Dreamcatcher. While this item is in your hotbar, it will have a high probability of nullifying damage from taint or taint creatures. While it won't stop all the damage, it will make it will help make traveling in tainted lands more manageable. How do I get you? <laughs> Clearly I haven't read through this book. Much. From the Horizons tab. tab. Self-infusion. Think of it as enchanting your body with different enchants. There are several of these infusions to turn off, but one of note is the Silverwood Tart. This will make you completely immune to all taint damage, and will reduce the severity of other effects such as poison and wither? That is my goal. That is my goal. Horizons tab. Horizons, horizons... Okay. Tomcraft. Alright. While wandering the world, you realize that you will need to find a way to clean the taint. There are several ways to do this. The Ethereal Bloom is just the simplest and the most basic way to fight the taint. Just plant it and you will purify the world out to a range of 8 blocks. You are given one at the start to, to help you out, but... More can be made using the Crucible. Just research Thomic Flowers in the Alchemy tab and Infusion in the Artifice tab of the Thomonomicon to get the Ethereal Bloom research. Next, there are Pure Nodes, which you can find in the wild. By researching Advanced Node Tapping and Node Preserver in the Basic Information tab of your Thomonomicon, you can gain access to the Node in a Jar research that will allow you to bring them back to your base. But be warned that putting a Node in a Jar may damage it. Silverwood trees have a good chance of creating pure nodes as well, but you, to get the silverwood saplings, you need to, to trade with Pex or maybe look at some flowers. Pex can be found, albeit rarely, in the wild, or you can create them with the proper research. I remember seeing how to do that. Then there's Thomic Terraforming, found in the Witching Gadgets tab of your Thomonomicon, that will allow you to change the biome in a 16 block radius to one of the, the following. Desert, cold taiga, jungle, hell, uh, almost said that, nether, mushroom island, and you can, 
And then you can even change the world back to tainted lands. But who would want that? Yeah, who would want that? This is an extremely well advanced method of cleaning the taint, and you will need to have a substantial size of thomic setup to be able to use this method. The thomic dishwasher. In this world of magic gone wrong, you realize that it's not just the land that have been ruined, but the animals have changed as well. There may be a way to clean them, however. In the thomic horizons tab of your thomonomicon, you will need to research the curative vat and the creature infusion to unlock the wand focus. Containment which will allow you to, <laughs> to capture animals in warded jars and then clean them up using the removing taint to research the thomic dishwasher. Let's see. Oh, dang, I wanted to. I was hoping it was today. Alright. Okay, that's back to where I was. All right, special crafting. Yeah, I'm just gonna look through here. Silence Gems have, has its own way of enchanting that allows you to choose what enchantments you want by creating an enchantment token of the enchant you want by combining it with your tool and a crafting grid. You can enchant any tool or armor in the pack, and yes, these enchantments do follow standard vanilla rules. I'm guessing... Oh, wait. So, for instance, you can't have Silk Touch and Fortune on the same tool. ETC. Yeah, pretty much. You can have multiple levels by crafting your tool with the enchantment token multiple times. The number of levels you can have can be found by holding Shift while hovering over the token. One last thing. There are four unique enchants that Silence Gems adds. Mending repairs tools. Mending is in Minecraft. Well... Not in 1.7. I believe it's added in 1.9 or 1.10. One of the two. Area Miner. Mines a 3x3x1 three by three by area. Nice. Lumberjack. Cuts down an entire tree at once. And finally, something that will be very useful in this pack. Lifesteal. Will restore a very small amount of health while attacking mobs. Okay, where's that recipe? Lifesteal. I want to know how to make it! Armor. You can also craft armor from gems. All normal gems will provide you with iron equivalent protection. The only difference is the durability of the gems. Gems will affect the durability of the armor. And there is also a, super, a supercharged version of the armor as, as well that has diamond level protection and higher durability. Lastly, armor can be enchanted as well. Now I'm going to see if I can find... Okay, and what I need. Okay, I didn't think it would give me either knowledge on how to get lifesteal. Let me real quick. At least that charged creeper is gone. But those wisps that are flying around everywhere? I'm pretty sure every single one of them wants to kill me. As well as that taint swarm thing. Let me check out three. Let's see. I know for a fact it will tell you the date in 1.7. Let's see. Date, date. What? Where is it? I'm certain it says it somewhere. Weird. I can't swear it does. Well, that sucks. Really wanted to know who if I had skipped the entire day. That would be dumb. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here, though. If you guys have enjoyed, be sure to hit... Well, you know what button to hit. If not, again, 
you know what button to hit, and I will see you later. Bye.